All right, so that was a tough one. Uh, they jumped all over us. Um, you know, we, uh, you know, well, Lamar gave us problems. Um, you know, we, we could never apply enough pressure, and when we did, then he would, we'd let him out of there, and, and then our, you know, covering, we, we knew we were going to need a challenge, um, you know, coverage, do, you know, play some man, and, uh, and we just, the combination of not getting very much pressure and, and then having to cover a long time, uh, we just, we didn't handle it well. And offensively, um, we never got in a rhythm early, you know, and we just kind of felt like they're, they're playing with house money over there. You get up so much by a certain uh, portion in that game, then it's, shoot, they're, they're kind of doing whatever they want to do. Um, and, and they're out of their tendencies because why not? Uh, so, which is, is self-induced. Those guys, they, they played well. They kicked our ass. And uh, it's a credit to them. Lamar beat us. Uh, he hammered us with his arm. Um, you know, he, he threw the ball extremely well. He ran when he needed to, um, and we did not handle it well. You know, our our energy was good, which is crazy. You come out of a game like that and you look at the score. Our energy was good, but our detail and discipline, which has been so good over the last four or five weeks, was not good enough. So, uh, self-induced. That was a combination of a lot of different, a lot of different things. You know, and just like we win as a team, we lose as a team, and that was that was one of those. Uh, execution. Execution. Well, look. I, you, the, the, the here's the obvious: is that we say this every week. We we have to go into these games, and it takes every one of us to do it right. Man, we have to. That's that's where we're at. And when we do it, we're pretty good. But when we don't, we. It's hard to overcome some of these things. We're not that that type of group. It takes every one of us. So every you can say that every week we got to be disciplined. But with this guy, you better double it up because Lamar is an issue. And you know I'm, I'm doing my job. I'm having my job. He breaks contain. He starts going. Well, I'm going to second contain him. I just left my guy. You know because Lamar's out in the open, and then he he just he dumps it over. And there's these things that just show up. You know we didn't. Um, Man, just do your job. Handle your responsibility. We're going to play man. That's your man. Stay with your man. Don't have bad eyes. Don't have lazy eyes. Don't look back there. You just cover your man. And you know what? If he runs in for a touchdown, then so be it. That's not your responsibility. But, And then as you get into that hole, what happens is everybody starts pressing, right? Man, i got to make something happen. And then you get out of what we talk about doing, you know? We, we start getting outside of the scheme. You, you're doing more than is asked to you, and, and because of that, it creates more problems. And that's on both sides of the ball. That's, that's in all three phases, really. So, um, look, we just didn't play well. And I hate to say it, that's one of those games. It was one of those we just could not get out of our own way. And uh, it's a credit to those guys over there, man. They, they, played, uh, they played outstanding football, and, uh, and they rubbed their nose in it. Yeah, the you know the run game always helps us. I mean that's uh, it's something that we always want to hang our hat on, and it it's kind of where everything starts for us. So we couldn't, um, and you know I'll be the first to say when you when you go three and out uh, your first two series, and then they they gain fourteen points in your first two. That, that's a that's a hard recipe there. You know early in a game, and um, you know you just. You feel like you get put in a, in, a, in a pretty tough spot in both areas. And so uh, I thought we would be able to overcome it. I thought we'd come out in the second half and be able to, uh, you know, um, overcome that and get some momentum back. And, and we fought. We just couldn't, we couldn't, we couldn't get it turned over. You know, couldn't, couldn't quite get going. But um, it's frustrating. You know, it is. But ultimately, hey, man, things happen for a reason. The good Lord never gives us anything we can't handle. And, and uh, and so we probably needed it. How did the injury of Muhammad change the game? Uh, well, here's what. Fortunately, uh, it's nothing serious, which is good. Um, talking about Khalif. Did you ask about anybody else, or was it just Khalif? Oh, Mo and all right. First of all, Mo. Uh, 
Mo's in the hospital, and he's having surgery right now. Sounds like he'll be okay, um, but he's going to stay here overnight. You know, um, you know he's he's tough. Um, I hate that for him, um, but you know that that certainly puts a strain on our team. And then Khalif is all right. He got some cramps there at the end, but he he'll be fine. But uh, you know, I think. By the time those happened, the damage was already done. We, you know, I don't think it was as significant as hurting our team in the moment as it can be. We were already, um, you know, out of it pretty good. Yeah, we said maybe we needed it. What do you mean by that? No, I just think that it every. It, you don't want these to happen, but it, when it does, it recenters you. It refocuses you, and and uh, and that's all I know. Um, I don't want it to happen. Nobody wants to happen. Nobody likes to look over there and watch them having a great time because they kicked our ass. Nobody thinks that's fun. But, but I know that motivates me for next week. It motivates our team. So um, I know that you'll, you'll do any and everything you can not to have that feeling again. So that's all I mean by that. I know everybody's going to be like, how can you say that? How can you say it's okay to lose? And that's not what I'm saying, all right? Um, so it's here. It happened. Um, it'll motivate us moving forward, and, and the shame would be if we don't uh, use this to get better for next week, and it bleeds over into the Raiders. That that would be the ultimate shame. You might have already answered this, with saying the energy was there, but we were talking about the balance of, of practice and how you, you know, from the Carolina game, you felt like you didn't prepare well. You, you dumped the practice back to a walkthrough on Wednesday. Do you feel like that had any effect on pulling off? The- well, maybe I got to look at everything. You know, you never know. Um, I, I'll look at it. I mean, I don't like second guesses, guessing things. Um, I didn't feel that, you know. There was a time last year when I felt that leading into the game where I didn't feel that this week. Um, but, look, i got to look at everything and uh, make sure that I'm doing what's best for our team to get ready and not what feels good, you know. So, now I do that, and then you guys are going to be on my ass about injuries. Like, aren't you pushing them too hard? I got that. So, you know, um, but... No, I'm going to look at everything. I mean, my job is to get them ready to play, and they're clearly we're not ready to play, which that falls on my shoulders, you know, and, and there's no way around that. I know that. You mentioned Lamar a couple of times. Is this just a case of, you know, him having some superhuman skills and doing some superhuman things out there and extending plays for 19 seconds that his ability to scramble, I mean, it's as easy to chalk it up to, to that? So no, I mean, it's – no, because there was enough time. Here's what happens. It's just – there, I, there was a number of plays where we've got him boxed in, and it's long. I mean, we're back there. He's back there six seconds, five or six. But just it's hard to do. Just keep, just keep squeezing, keep squeezing, keep squeezing. Seven seconds, keep squeezing. Keep, because what happens, it gets long, it gets long, and then I commit, and then he just breaks out, you know. And, uh, and now all of a sudden, you've already been covering long. And so it just it, – that's what happens, and that's why he's so dangerous. And it's hard to do, man. When you're a rusher – because I thought – we were pretty disciplined for a while, and then as it kind of got longer in there and he's holding up, um, we just, you know, we got ourselves in a bind. And everything plays a hand in each other, you know. Um, look, there was enough stuff we dropped in coverage, you know. We did not play well enough on offense. You know, you get in a game like that, offensively, you have to be able to match them stride for stride. And, and we, we, we got off to a slow start. You know, you don't convert a first down and, um, for a while. Um, that's hard. You just don't complement each other, so. It wasn't good. Two more guys. This is a next man up league, and he's done that all year, next man up. But when, when a guy suffers an injury late in the week, like Jerry, and you've got to replace him, how much does that have a cascade effect on maybe your game plan? No, I mean, the only thing is you don't – those guys don't get those um, – all of those reps, you know, all of those prep reps, um, like Jerry got. Jerry got a majority of them. Now, we, you know, all those guys get some, you know, so Will got a couple, but ultimately he goes out there and starts for us. So, um, like, it's, it's never going to be like it is when the starter's able to get them. However, I'll say this, I, like, I didn't bat an eye with Will going outside and playing. Like, I trust Will, and he's going to go out there and compete, and he's going to battle, um, you know. And he did that. And so I look. You don't want it to happen, but um, but it is what it is. And we were ready. So no, you don't want it to be uh, day before the game or day of the game. But uh, it happened, and I was thank goodness we got Will, and we'll activate Gilmore, and we go. Yeah, well, Rodrigo, we just we think there's a lot of flexibility with him, you know. We're we're always talking about how do we maximize the roster, and uh, 
you know, we, we've been uh, heavy on defense going to the game, you know, with the, the, the guys that we, that we have. Normally we're carrying 23 there, and then, you know, offensively we teeter between is it tight ends or is it receivers that, that you're trying to bring or halfbacks. And so we felt like, hey, man, let's uh, give Rodrigo a go at fullback. You know, we've been intrigued by that for a while. And we know he's going to the game because he plays a core special teams player for us, uh, plays some defense when needed. So uh, we just wanted to get him more involved. So we're intrigued with him. We like him at that position as well. Um, you know, the um, – what was the other? I'm sorry. Yeah, listen, I, I was pleased with Gibbs. Um, I was pleased. It was good to have him back out there, you know, and um, – and I, I think he, I thought he took a step forward today. You know, uh, I think he was one of the guys that that there was some real positive things in there. And uh, man, I just thought he had pretty good vision. I thought he set some runs up really well. And and there again, I felt okay. He's a little better. And and I just feel like the more he plays, the better he's going to get. So that's another step in the right direction. Uh, Marv was, uh, that's a, you know, that's a personal, okay, that's a personal uh, issue there. Um, we're all good, all good. Um, and then Charles, it was just, um, you know, talked to him early in the week, and it was, you know, last week we brought nine bigs. We brought nine D linemen to the game, and this week we, Pascal's coming back, and we were only going to bring eight, and so, um, it was kind of, all right, do, do we bring J.O. or do we bring Charles? That's really where we were kind of at. And so we wanted to give uh, J.O. a shot at it and, uh, and see, and we'll see, see where it is. I, didn't, I don't know. I need to watch the tape. But certainly Charles is, is a, a guy who, you know, puts the work in. He's one of our captains. Uh, he gets it. He, uh, he was busting his ass in practice again, and he knows this isn't it. I mean, that's – this isn't it for him. He can very, very well be up next week. Um, so that's kind of what it was. That was where it was at. Right, Does that make sense? Ahead, You're looking at me like you don't. I, so basically, it's him or Jo. Okay. It's one of those two. I can't bring both. I can't bring both. And so that that was kind of what it was.